What's up guys, it's Alad here, back again after a few weeks of a break. Like always, but not a few months like last time. Anyways, I'm back with another C++ tutorial. And we'll make a keylogger in this tutorial. And I'm recording this like for the fifth time because I always forget to zoom in inside Visual Studio so you can see better. I'm kinda pissed off already, but I'll see the tutorial again. So what you want to do first is open your Visual Studio, New Project C++, Empty Project, and you want to right click on your source, Add, New Item, Main. By main it's because the main file which should be run here. That's why it's main. There is an ASCII table where we can see all the keys as a decimal. So whenever it's going to show a decimal, we know, we can see which key it is. But don't worry about that, you don't have to save decimals, you will actually save the letters that are pressed. So we can see here there is zero and it's null. Start of heading, start of text, end of text, whatever. Relevant information starts at backspace, because we have backspace, tab, and all the stuff going on, shift. So we start at 8. And we also have an extended ASCII code of 255 characters. Good, right? So we'll start with, start with including iostream. Next we want to include Windows capital W Windows.h and I typed window, and that's not wrong, windows h and we will use the standard namespace stp okay looks good so far and before I forget to make it big again I'll make it big really quick I hope this is big enough so next we wanna initialize our int save which will be used to save the key that are the keys that are logged into a file so I call this key and this I call char uh, file pointer file so why we put this here like this is so the program knows there is this and we can put int main before that because otherwise we will put put in save in the whole function before main but I like mine to be on top so I put it like this. So I'm gonna start with main char i make a while loop which never ends. Okay I actually hit compile true. A while loop that never ends and a for loop inside the while loop i is equal to 8 I told you just a sec why and if it's equal less or equal to 255 plus plus <clears throat> I want to use a function a standard function which is the get async key state and it shows me here and put i here and if it's equal to this number which is a pretty idiotic number but it's just how it is uh, this means a button is pressed if it's not equal a button is not pressed why we want to do this is because we want to catch the buttons that are pressed so if nothing pressed if we would leave this like always um, always key log it will do the empty things also like the whole time so we wanna only want the press keys so we do this okay now we wanna call the function and pass it the i which is actually the key and as you can see here I am a bit cold but anyways I wanna pass it the i this will be my file I save this to so I also pass that. Okay. 
I'm going to make the save function. Save, 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 save. Forgot to put an int here. Int key. Key, right, not keys. Char point file. <coughs> See out the key to the form. End of line. File. And we'll call it output file. And I'll copy this so I don't have to retype this. This is something I learned while making this, these tuts all the time. And what I want to do is um, open, f open. And if you're getting issues, like you can see here, there's f open and f open s. If you get issues and it says f open is insecure, please use f open s. How to fix this is go to project. Keylogger CPP properties, and as you can see on mine here, uh, first you want to go configuration properties, C++ C, preprocessor, and process preprocessor definitions. As you can see right here, you want to type underscore CRT underscore secure underscore no underscore warnings, and it will be working just fine. Because if you don't do this, it might tell you to use FOpenS, and I don't know how to use it. Anyways. Um, and it will let you compile. So yeah. So f open my file and a plus. Why a plus is because we want to add new keys the whole time continuously to the file which already exists and not overwrite. So <coughs> we would probably put f print f and there's also fs output file percentages and our key so we would do just like this and of course at close this would just put me uh, keys yes of course but it will do stuff we don't want to see Save must return a value, of course. Turn zero. Main also because it's also an int. Run this. We'll be able to see that left clicking, right clicking, as you can see, all fine. But if we use enter or turn backspace, you can see backspace is 8 as we can see here. But I can also use like hazard edit and I can use space and I can use control and shift and delete and insert and what whatnot. But we can see that when we look at the file here, it's giving me these strange symbols. We can't do anything with those because we don't know what the, what the heck just happened there. So therefore, we want to catch the keys. When we catch the keys, we want to be like shift. If you press shift, it shows you strange things we don't want to happen. So I'm just gonna if um, key is equal equal virtual key shift, and how to know. Uh, which one to use, it's really simple, there is a site uh, microsoft.com which has a, a page with virtual key codes, you can see left button, right button, cancel, M button, whatever. So if it's this, then we want to f print f, uh, f print f output file Uh, this is not instead of just getting that stupid 
symbol thing. When just type shift here by hand. And this will be our else. But we want to also do else ifs. So we not just have these, but we also have VK back. And if it's a VK back, if it's a VK back, we want to type back. And basically, you would. Uh, you would copy the else ifs and do it for all these vk l what was it l button l button so you also catch l ba button do it for the return Tap return capital <clears throat> kanji whatever escape except we we have the return okay return else. Ah, forgot I copied the escape escape. So this would be enough for showcases purposes. Mm, yeah, so this will be us saving this whole thing. So as we can see, if I do this again. Uh, type my text, enter, enter, shift, I don't have a space, but escape, escape, what did I also do? Oh, left mouse button. I don't think it will catch it because it's the one. Again, open the file. And we can see here, L button, it did catch it. That's good. Return, shift, escape, return, 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 escape, L button. Good. So this is good. But we can see that we can see that it um, is here and we can see it. And of course, you would like if you send this to anybody, but don't. This is just for educational purposes. And if you do send it and you get caught, you can have to pay fees and not fees but you have to pay money or go to jail so don't send this ever to anybody uh, yes but you can see this here <coughs> and to hide the for the the window when to use free console simply like that and what I want to also do is put sleep here and here yes please so now you'll see it popped up and it's gone but it's running and it's catching what I type so it's running right here somewhere Keylogger CPP. So I'm typing hello guys. This is other edit. It's going to catch what it type inside the file. L button, L button, L button, L button. Hello guys. This is hazard edit. L button, L button. return return and stuff 
So this looks pretty good. And stop this. Go to 100% again. So this is basically it. There is like how many lines? Uh, it doesn't show me lines. Anyways, just a few lines of codes and you have a keylogger. Really nice. So I thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Peace out.